putting this off for a while, but if I've got in my head an ambition to move over the next six months to a year, then I need to sort out what I am taking. This is going to be one of those very long-winded uh, sorting out the house in order to move. See, now that's from Gap, so it's a very good one. I don't know if I can fit into it, so I think I'll keep that. So as you can probably work out, this is the Harris Tweed that Richard gave me, Richard Volpes. Put that to one side. So as you can see, I'm sorting out clothes. Now when I bought this one, it fitted, but I don't know if you've done this, you buy something and you like it and then you walk, go to the shop and go home and then you go, no. So that one can go to the charity shop. Bit of a boring task this, but I thought I'd put the video on and bore you as well. <laughs> I would imagine quite a few people have a wardrobe where they think, I'll keep that, because when I slim down, I'll be able to get into it. But does it really happen? Like these. These were the shirts I always used to wear. Right, let me work out. Now, the pile that's going... Is that going? I don't tend to go out that much now, where I need a posh shirt. And also, do you take into consideration the cost of them? Right, I think I'll keep this one and I'll get rid of this one. Well, that's a bit of a compromise. I have a lot of black because when I used to work in theatre and TV, you had to just mould into the background. So that's why I've got a lot of black clothes. And also, Spend half your time just checking the pockets because you never know there could be a five pound note in there. There never is though. This looks quite old. I wonder if this is mine or whether this is something that somebody gave it. Because I remember going to Chelsea Flower Show once and I didn't have a jacket or the jacket that I had. Uh, I realised it needed to be washed. So that might have been one of the jackets somebody from the allotment gave me at the time. So that can go to the charity shop. Look at that one. Looks like I'm going to appear in Seven Brides. What's it called? Not Seven Brothers for Seven Sisters. Seven Brides for Seven Daughters. No? What's that? What's that music called? Seven Brides for seven husbands. I don't know. <laughs> um, shall I keep this? I don't think it would fit. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Just in case I need a tablecloth. <coughs> Again, this must be one of the most boring videos that I've ever made. See, that that's a gap. When I had a load of disposable cash, I used to go to Gap and buy my clothes. So it's, I'm very reluctant to throw them out because I remember how much they cost. This is a Gap one as well. But then if I'm never going to wear them again, what is the point? Let's plug the, the, the Gap and get them out. See, I'm imagining the cost of what this was. This was probably over £100. So it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was. I'm not, I only want to end up with about 12. I'll keep it, just in case. What's this one now? It's a nice green one. Maybe I bought this for a gardening convention. No, so we'll get rid of that one. And also, do you keep things that you've kept for years? I've had this now for about 25 years. And I know by just 
looking at it, there's no way I could get into it. But nostalgia, do we keep things? Look at that. No, that's going to go as well. I have a lot of t-shirts that are for the garden. Well, that can go as well. Now, talking about old things. This one. I bought this when I moved to Cardiff. So the, I probably had this since 1996. I'll keep that one just for nostalgia reasons. Also... Socks. I'm going through a period at the moment of buying socks and holes will appear in what feels like a matter of a month or two. Look. So I've got loads of socks with holes in. Again, I could make a nice glove for the allotment. So I did say to myself I was going to spend some time going through my socks. And if there was the slightest hole or wear and tear, like that one, then they were going to go. Let's try to find the time to do these things. This is why I thought, well, I'll film it and then I'll get a video out of it. So not the most exciting thing for you to watch. Again, where does this come from? This is a, this is a gap one again. No, that can, that can go. You could swear I go out all the time with all these clothes. <laughs> I know people see me in the same things all the time on the videos. But it does feel like River Island, so. It does feel like when I go and make the videos, the reason why I'm wearing the same clothes is because it feels like I'm going off to work. So it's so my jumper is a sort of uniform. See now this is definitely from the old theatre days to cut to get get the arms covered in black as well. So you can just hide away. Ah, I could use this for the cats. Now that it's getting a bit colder. I'm going through a period at the moment where one of the cats is peeing and pooing on the bed. And this happened about three times now in two weeks. And I've looked at what's changed. And the only thing that's changed is I've got rid of a few boxes from the room. So there's more space. But I had changed the, um, the biscuits, the biscuits that the cats eat. So I don't know if that is the issue, because they do say when you get things like this, go back and see what has changed in, that, that, that might have stressed the cat. So I have, I've just bought in fact, the old biscuits. So we'll see how we go over the next week. And then if that doesn't settle down, then I will take it to the vet. Dressing gown. I haven't used a dressing gown in about 10 years. Do you have one? Ah, look at this now. This is something special. Can you guess what it is yet? As you know, I have a bit of a interest in the pagan religion. It's not really a religion. It's about, uh, it's a way of life. It's you, for, for me, it's living with the seasons and the rituals around that, like Christmas and equinox. And part of the ceremony, it's a bit like to welcome in, uh, to say goodbye to the winter and to, no, to say goodbye to the autumn and to welcome in the winter. There's a ceremony where you go and stand by a bonfire. And this is my cape that I use keep myself nice and warm on those cold nights. There you go, look at that. Disappear into the night. Ooh. So I will keep this, because I do, I do tend to use it about twice a year. 
as the seasons change. Ah, I was trying to find this. This is a uh, blanket, but it's a very snug one. And now that we're going into the colder days, I'll be pleased to have that. What else can I tell you has been going on? Been busy with the new allotment and filming the videos for that, which will go onto its own channel. The fruit garden, that is sort of, but it's about to get busy. I'm just waiting for some fruit to turn up, some more strawberries. And um, I think I've ordered, one sec, I think I've ordered some currants, red currants, white currants, black currants. So they will be going in soon. So once that's done, I am then going to put a layer of bark chippings over the plot. And then I can sort of walk away from it for the winter and concentrate on the no dig plot. Look at this. Do you keep, this is my old school tie. Don't know why I'm keeping it, but we'll, we will keep it. Now, if you've watched these videos for any length of time, like 10 years, you would recognize this was the coat. When I buy things, I tend to wear them to death until they just drip off me and then I go and buy something else. So this was one of my coats, which appeared about 10 years ago. And again, because so the coat that I have got now is very nice, but it has to be a very, very cold day in order for me to wear it because it's lined with uh, fleece. So I haven't really got a coat that I can just throw on and go outside. See, look, there's holes in it. It's about time they developed a hood that actually stays up now rather than, well, I spend half my time going down the street and I can't see. Ah, there's holes in the, which could, could be fixed, uh, I suppose. It's tempting, be very good on the, the no dig plot until I put a shed up. No, I'm going to be firm, stand firm and get rid of it. Now something I did buy, and this is going to go out. When I say go out, all this stuff is going to the charity shop. I bought this because it looked nice and cosy. And I'm going to get rid of it because of a particular reason. Because I realised when I was on the plot one day and I had this on. It's very warm around the bodice, but not on the arms. There's wool and the wind goes straight through that. So you end up with a warm body but cold arms. So that is going to go. And I've been meaning to get rid of that for quite a few years, to be honest. Look at this. Look at this I've just found. This, I think, was my mother's. I'm not entirely sure. But I don't know how you do it. But I remember she used to put it into the microwave. If, if this is the one that I'm thinking of. You used to go in the microwave, I don't know for how long, for 60 seconds. And then she used to put it around her neck to keep the neck warm. So I'll keep that. I'm not sure if that is exactly the one or whether that is... Uh, Something that looks similar. Gym towels. Maybe I'll go back there. Now, you might think it's all over. They think it's all over, but it's not. I've got some more down here. And these are the really old things. There's no point carrying things around from house to house if you're not going to use them. 
Ah, there we go. We got the whole shebang. So we got the scarf, and we got the hood, and we got the hoodie. There we go. All set for the winter allotment. <laughs> Whew. I might wear these in the house to keep to keep warm. Now these are very old, so I think I can quickly go through these. See, t-shirts. What would I do without a t-shirt? But this one is an Abercrombie one, so I already know this was expensive. So either even though it looks a bit tatty, I think I'll keep that just because I'm aware of the cost of it. Pajamas. What do you win when you go to bed? I tend to uh, wear nothing. Ooh. Even on a frosty day, I think it is very good that I think it's very good not to make a room too hot, which is no trouble of doing that in this house. But I think if you cosset the body a bit too much, then maybe that's a bad thing. Because when I grew up, we didn't have any cent central heating or things like this. I remember waking up and the frost was on the inside of the windows. And I think that's good for the body. I was talking to Richard Forbes about this back last winter. And he sleeps with the window open. Now, I wouldn't go that far. But I do think... Well, the dust is getting in my nose now. I do think it is very good. See, there's another Abercrombie. This was in the days when I was slim. When I used to go to the gym every day. So again, I might keep this one for the... Uh, for the motivation. Yeah, I'm gonna... See, you can feel the quality of, of that product there. I can feel where the £150 got spent, anyway. I wonder how much the shirts are there now. I daren't go and look, because I haven't got the money. There's no point. Is this another one? No, this is a Gap one. Again, nice bit of cloth, as they'd say in the north. Nice bit of cloth on that. But am I going to wear it again? I'll put it on the keep pile. Right, I might get rid of this because I never really saw the point in this. This was more for show than to keep to keep yourself warm. Oh, shall I? Oh, has it got memories? Midnight, not a sound from the pavement As the moon lost her memory she is smiling alone in the lamplight the withered leaves collect at my feet and the winds begin to moan memory all alone in the moonlight i can smile at the old days I was much slimmer then. <laughs> this was a shirt I had in the 90s. And I used to love the design of it. But I didn't used to like the back. There's a design on the back. But I managed to get over that because I thought all I'm ever going to see is the front. So I don't care what's on the back. Gonna keep that one as well. That's got some memories. And again, another black shirt. Maybe I should become an undertaker. Because I've already got the clothes for it. There's a story there now. Many, many, many moons ago. Back when Adam was a lad. I was going to go and be an undertaker's assistant. I used to help out with Gerwin Chloelin up in the Ronda Valleys, Garwin Chloelin. And I don't know if they do it in England or whether they do it at all now, but Gerwin used to have this tradition 
that he would walk in front of the hearse to the nearest church or in Wales chapel and he always used to look forward to the funerals that were close to a church or chapel because that meant he could just walk two minutes down the road and then jump in the hearse and then they'd be off to they'd be off to the crematorium or to the cemetery but if somebody died and they lived up on the mountainside he could be walking for two miles to get to their nearest church or chapel so I don't know if that's a, a Welsh thing do they do that in England do they do that in anywhere else of the world and like I've said before when it would go down the road people on the side of the street would take the hat off and just bow that does that doesn't go on these days Garwin Flowellen. So I used to help him out with the funerals. I got many a story to tell about that. But he said, he said, Roger, you're going to turn 16. So come down and see me on Thursday and we'll sign up the paperwork and you can become a full-time assistant. Well, he died on the Wednesday. So that career died before he even had a chance to start. Just interested when you think small things such as that, how that could have changed the course of my life. I wouldn't be standing here now playing with socks. <laughs> it's these little moments in life that determine where you're going to go for the next few for the next few years. Also, the other thing that I think when you go buy socks. Just buy black, and then every sock will match. But that's not for today's video. Today's video is just to sort out the room. See, like one red sock. Who has one red sock? Anyway. Right, and finally, I think this is, again, I'll keep this one. This is one of those ones where you... Um, Ah, from Aussie Bums. I remember I had this shipped over from Australia. So I'll keep that. That's one of these things you wear on a winter's night in bed when it gets a bit too cold. Right, well I think that is everything. Oh, and a pair of pants. And even though I can't fit into these, they're, they're Abercrombie. So they cost a little bit of pennies. So I'll keep them. Anyway, thanks for joining me for whatever this was again. <laughs> I'm going to have a nice cup of tea now and put the ones that I'm keeping in a pile and the ones that I'm not keeping in a plastic bag and take them down to the charity shop. Although I will wash them first because they've been in the spare room for quite a while in a pile. Somebody said to me the other day, when I said that, I said, oh, I'm going to wash some clothes and take them to the charity shop. He said, oh, I don't bother to wash them, I just send them. They're grateful. And I said, yes, but they don't have the facility to wash clothes, do they? Anyway, I'd rather know that when I take the bag there, they're clean as far as I'm concerned. So, right. So it's about time that I shut up and say goodbye. So from me and Zippy, see you next time. Yeah.